Hey there and welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Ivy Hartman and we've been chatting it up with Kat Neville of Feast Magazine. We've been talking a lot about the magnificent Missouri events coming up January 20th mm -hmm. at the Jewel Box. You can still get tickets at FeastSTL.com. Um, it helps sustain um, Missouri conservation Absolutely. basically. But we, just before the break we were talking about Taste of the NFL which is yes. a national thing. So this is going on throughout the country. Yes. Our event is on December 3rd and what kind of foods will we see at this event? It's, so it's a wine and dine, okay. and so all the Rams players will be there, the cheerleaders will be there, um, the new general manager will also be on hand. So Rams fans who are also foodies, it's kind of like this, you know, like they, it's a perfect event for them. Yes. But um, Dear Dorf and Hearts will be represented, um, Mike Shannon's Companion Baking, Weber's Front Row, a lot of really great, right. well, Bistro 1130, a lot of really terrific um, St. Louis restaurants will be there. You can meet the chefs, walk around, taste all the different foods, drink a bunch of great wines and beers, and, and then, again, meet all of these people that you really never get a chance to meet in person. For a really great cause. Yes, so it's St. Louis Area than, Food Bank. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is the proceeds all go to the St. Louis Area Food Bank. Yes. So, that so Taste of the NFL nationally is meant specifically to benefit um, hunger relief organizations. And so here in St. Louis, the Rams have chosen the St. Louis Area Food Bank as their charity. Awesome. So for ticket information, you can go to FeastSTL.com or call 345-5122. By yeah. the way, we were just talking about the power of social media. Yeah. Um, we're actually giving away two tickets. So if you go to Feast Magazine's um, Facebook page, and if you kind of look at all of uh, the way that we're giving those away, you can actually win two tickets to go to the event. On December 3rd. That's right. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. That's a fundamental. Okay. So then we're, we're just hustling through all this stuff because <laughs> as if the holidays weren't busy enough for all of us, we want to be able to get out and see people yes. and experience great things. So the Contemporary Art Museum is doing Feast Your Eyes. We've been part you are partnering with them pardon me well no yes. we've, we've been partnering with uh, the Contemporary Art Museum on this for over a year now and I love it I I majored in art history in college Did and you so really? yeah so art not is publishing like, not journalism no, art well, history. And, and writing but okay, I really okay. so art is something that is really near and dear to my heart and so when the Contemporary Art Museum approached us to help partner with them on this I jumped at the chance it's a the Contemporary Art Museum is a wonderful mm -hmm. um, or, you know, institution here in town, mm -hmm. and, um, and they're trying to make contemporary art more accessible. And one of the ways that I think that you can bring people in that might otherwise mm -hmm. be a little bit reticent is to feed them. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we, I go out and I, um, and I pair up chefs with the, um, with the exhibition. The mm -hmm. chef then goes in and meet, meets with Alex, who is um, one of the kind of head guys over there at CAM. And the chef creates a tasting menu in response to the exhibition. So the food that you eat when you go to the event, the chef is there and it changes every month. And he um, just kind of tells you, all right, well, I was really inspired by this particular painting and so I created this dish or whatever. Wow. Yeah, so it's a really neat intersection of food and art. And then of course there's wine and cocktails to try. And then you get to go on a tour of the exhibition and really get the insider look at, um, at what they have on, on show. Okay, so the next one is December 1st yes. at noon at the Contemporary Art Museum. You can get uh, tickets or RSVP at camstl.org yes. slash feast, which is the Feast Your Eyes event. Now, we do want to tell you that this is featuring Nick Hatfield of Food Outreach yes. as the chef for this yes. one. Yep. And just a heads up, in January and February, Feast Your Eyes is going to take a little break. It is, so. but then we're back in March, and actually, um, Chef Mike from Dressels is going to be the um, the featured chef, and he is going to be cooking um, British food because the uh, the exhibition at that time is going to be featuring a British English um, artist, and so we paired them up. Awesome. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask Kat what you're doing for Thanksgiving. I'm eating. <laughs> Actually, you're not cooking. No, I. I am going to a big family Thanksgiving. It's not my family, it's my friend's family. My parents are actually in Florida. And so um, so I'm actually, uh, tomorrow night, it's a pie baking extravaganza. Okay. I have a, uh, a pumpkin pie with brandy and candied ginger that I make every year. And so I'm gonna be making that and bringing it with me to, um, you know, to this great Thanksgiving that I'm going to be. I'm going to have like sure. 50 people that at this Thanksgiving on on Thursday. That's so I'm really huge. excited. Yeah, lots Pick, of fun. Yeah, it should be not too overwhelming. All right, just to recap things really quickly with Kat, we have the Magnificent Missouri event coming up January 20th at the Jewel Box. You've got the Taste of the NFL on December 3rd from 6 to 9. And then you've got um, Feast Your Eyes. So you can get tickets and everything for the Taste of Missouri, uh, Taste of NFL and the Magnificent Missouri at FeastSTL.com and the 
then feast your eyes, you can go online to camstl.org slash feast, which is obviously the Contemporary Art Museum's website. So thank you for taking time oh, out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Happy and Thanksgiving. Th happy Thanksgiving <laughs> to you. December issue will be out on stands. At the end of the month. November right. is still out there. And actually, if you're looking for last minute um, shopping tips and hours and stuff like that, we've got it on the website. Ha ha. All right. Well, it's break time again. Phew. We've got to come back um, because we've got more guests going, are going to be joining us, including Jesse Cerruti and Megan McGlynn with Rock and Roll Craft Show. All kinds of fun things going on around St. Louis. And STL TV is on all the major social networks so that you can connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And even if you're out of town, you can watch all of our great local programming programs streaming live through our website at stltv.net. Stick with me. we got more coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere.